morning YouTube. It's 30 degrees outside, it's the middle of June. Having one of those rare English heat waves where the weather's actually nice and we're complaining about it because it's too fucking hot. I'm going to the ABR festival next weekend. I need to get ready. I'm also going up like a week beforehand to stay in Somerset. So I've got a week's worth of stuff to go on the bike and I'm gonna show you how I do that. Here is Pinky. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the panniers on. They're on at the moment because I forgot some stuff. Um, so there's some stuff in there, but I don't think I'm gonna need them. So at the moment, she is bare. I have packed stuff. So it's only two nights of camping. Um, the rest of the week, although I'm gonna need clothes for a week, I'm staying in a house. So for two nights of camping, I didn't want to, but I've got my little tent. Um, I've grown to dislike this tent. It's too small. You can't get changed in it. If it rains, you're just, it's not, you're not gonna have a good time, but the weather should be fine. So little tent. I've got a yoga mat, which I don't need to bring, but I'm gonna see if I can anyway, because it just makes all the difference. It's like an extra layer underneath my self-inflating mattress. I'm gonna try and get to get outdoors and replace these two with something that packs up smaller, but blows up bigger. But we'll see how that goes. Camping pillows getting covered in warehouse dust. A week's worth of clothes in this one. Um, luckily the weather is good, so I don't need a huge amount of clothes. So that one's ready to go on the bike. This one is halfway packed, so there's some pajamas in there. And then I've also got like minimal food. Um, there's food at the campsite that you can buy, but I, I don't know if there's gonna be vegan options. So I've got emergency noodles, some tea bags, and I bought a new face cream, which has got SPF 25. So I do not wanna get wrinkles. Doing the festival with my dad and my brother, and my dad is bringing the cooking kit, so I'm not gonna bother packing the cooking kit. If I was gonna, um, gonna? If I was going to bring cooking kit, I would definitely need the panniers to fit like my stove and everything in, but that's kind of the main reason why I'm thinking of just ditching the panniers. Here in a second, but basically having the panniers on means it's a real pain in the ass to try and get the Kirigo kit on top of it because these don't really stick out. You can do it, but it's annoying, so I'm gonna try and avoid it. Also, they're filthy, like they're covered in dirt from the last time I used we'll them. We'll deal with that, just not right now. See, I'm sweating because the warehouse is a greenhouse. This is so unpleasant. And there's my sleeping bag. And here is the big Krieger dry bag. Yikes. Let's wait for that to finish. So I'm gonna try and get my tent, my sleeping bag, and my sleeping stuff in this one. Um, the food in that one. And then I've got a tiny little one, which is gonna go in the tank. And that's got my cameras. Uh, some sun cream, just like little bits and pieces. And then I've also got a backpack, which has got my iPad because I'm gonna need to work next week and some other electronics. It's really not a huge amount of stuff. We're used to this, we're good at this. The tent that I'm using is the Fox number two by OEX. It's a one man tent. It's really, really tiny, but it packs up so small. It doesn't really weigh very much. Um, I've got a mallet in there as well. It takes like five minutes to put up. It's super simple. Um, I, I do recommend it. It's just a little bit easier having a bigger tent where you've got more room to store your stuff and get changed and things like that. The sleeping bag is from Amazon. I don't know what it is. Okay, so frustratingly, the tent doesn't go in the dry bag with the sleeping bag. The sleeping bag is kind of an odd shape. It's like a spherical rather than long because of the bag that I put it in. I might try and deal with that over the course of the week when I go to go outdoors. I might try and buy a smaller sleeping bag. I'm just gonna have to strap it to the top for the time being but everything else is in there. Oh yeah, apart from my yoga mat, but whatever. A little torch. Forgot about my big old bag of toiletries. Yeah, I've also got a tarp. Um, I forgot to say, I don't know what it is about posh tents, but they have no floor. So if you take a tarp everywhere with you, put it under your tent, it's like an extra layer of waterproofness and also softness, and you can sit on it outside. To show you how to fit this to the bike. So the BMW comes with these two already, and then you get these with Krieger. They're just threaded under the seat. And then these hooks, you go into these things and then you tighten it and it fits. It's a great, it's very versatile. You can do it on basically every single bike.
This is probably the least full I've ever had this bag because normally I've got like extra blankets in here and all sorts, but because it's so hot, I don't need that stuff. So it's not very full, but that's fine. And the little ones, they just go to the side with the same hook and loop system. Okay, here's one half done. As you can see, it's the same system. It's super easy, it tightens up and it's on there. The whole thing is a little bit wobbly, which I don't like. I mean, unless the seat just kind of like pops out, it's not going anywhere, but I will be securing this down with some bungees, which I'm gonna have to use anyway to put my tent on the top. I'll try and take these things off and they're a bloody nightmare. I mean, you've just gotta push that thing in and it should slide right out, but no, it's stiff as fuck. It's impossible, I'm gonna break it now. I don't wanna break it now, I got them really long. I did it. Got my leftover bungees because bungees are like hair ties and you start out with hundreds of them and you end up with two. But this should be enough, hopefully. I'm just going to lay them across the middle and then I'm going to use the bungees to try and force the whole lot back because it's kind of slid forwards into my seat and I am wearing a backpack so I don't really want that squashing me. So it's not too bad. It's not a massive amount of luggage. I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, it's on. It's not a huge amount of room for my butt. I reckon I can get in there. Um, I could probably just turn the whole thing around the other way, but it's on and I can't be bothered. So for now, that is how we're gonna roll. Um, the bungees are a little bit too long, so I've had to double wrap them. I thought this was a great anchor point, but it's actually not really far forward enough and I don't wanna scratch that, nor can I fit these things through that gap, but it will do. This is my little, little dry bag, which I use as a tank bag. And what you do is you buy one of these, it's the tank adapter, it goes on pretty much any bike. It's got Velcro on one side, so that's like sticky, like 3M whatever stuck to the tank. And then on the other side, it was super difficult with this bike, but basically that strap is looped around the frame on both sides. And then if you want to get to your fuel cap, you just pop these out. And there it is. I think any of these bags will fit onto this, it's the same system, it's got the loops and you use the little hooks and the hooks come with the bag so when you buy the bag they come with enough hooks that you can set this up and you don't need to take the bag off to unclip these it's it's super simple um i think it looks really nice and yeah it works on both of my bikes this doesn't need to go on Swati, but this just goes onto the tank rack on Swati, so it's great and it's completely waterproof and this is the finished look i think it looks great um, I reckon I could be a little bit tidier with my packing, but because I'm just going to Somerset this evening and I'm going to go to go outdoors, I'm going to see if I can replace some of my kit with summer versions because this is a lot of winter kit. Um, maybe it might look a little bit better for the ABR weekend. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And if I buy anything, I will show you. I'm just going to see if I fit on it with the back. That's okay, that works, that's fine, that's comfortable. It's not it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, so yay. I'm not flexible to do it properly. Good morning, I'm in Somerset. So the luggage survived the trip, but as I said, I'm gonna go to go outdoors and I'm gonna try and find a smaller sleeping bag. I've seen the one that my dad's got and it's really small. It's gonna be perfect for this weather. So I'm gonna revise a few things, but anyway, I hope that video was useful. Um, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>